hello, hello. I have arrived. Artist, VTuber, archivist. Hold on, I messed that up a little bit, but it's fine. We'll just continue. Artist, VTuber, archivist, and tonight, tactical. Yeah. Okay, if I if I mess up the intro, I just need to start over, I think, because I, I don't know that I can recover from that. Anyway, hi, it's me. I'm here. Arc Knights. <laughs> anyway, so, Arc Knights. That's what we're playing today. Yeah, we're a little bit late, unfortunately, but, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, so tonight's stream, or today's stream, I should say, it's daytime currently. But yes, so today's stream is probably going to be a little bit shorter. <clears throat> I feel like I say that basically every stream, but today it's probably going to be true. It's usually true, but, you know, this time I intend for it to be true. Or at least more so than usual. But yes. So, before we get into things, is there anything I need to go over? Not much that I can think of, I suppose. So yes, like I said, we're playing Arknights. Uh, oh, right, schedule. So yes, so next week, hopefully, we should be getting to the schedule that I was planning for, which is to say uh, a Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday streaming schedule. Yeah, so the Monday stream should be at 12.30 p.m. Central Time and will be Arknights. The Wednesday stream should be, most likely it will be around 8.30 p.m. Central Time. That is what we have been. Again, I will try to get that... Uh, I want to try and start that a little bit earlier, if at all possible, to avoid the consistent internet issues that I've been having at very specific times of day. But yes, so that will be uh, the continuation of the Coffee Talk collab with Sheppy Sheps, 8.30 p.m. Central Time, and then the Saturday stream, ideally this next one should be at about 2.30 p.m., the time that I planned, as opposed to roughly 3 p.m., I was doing a little bit of uh, procrastinating and it kind of got in the way of this. Which is also why I'm going to be doing a short stream because I need to get some stuff done after this. But yes. So, that is the business. So, what else is there? But yeah, one thing that I had... Uh, just a little observation. I suppose it's not particularly relevant to anything. But uh, one one thing that I, that I found interesting... I don't know. <laughs> I feel I've, I'm talking about it as though it's an anecdote that I heard about and not something that happened to me for real, but, uh, <clears throat> but yes, the other day, I, uh, actually before stream on, that would have been Thursday, right? Yeah. Yeah, the previous stream was on Thursday, I think. But yes, before stream on Thursday, I, uh, I accidentally had plugged in my, uh, microphone to the wrong, uh, wrong place, which would normally not be a huge deal, but I briefly panicked because, it, as it turned out, uh, I had plugged it into a USB-C charger that I had on my desk that was plugged into a an outlet. So I was, for a brief moment, very deeply worried that I had uh, destroyed my microphone, most likely, from having it, you know, be receiving power in a way and to an extent that it is not designed to, but... Uh, I haven't noticed any issues so far. Yeah, I didn't notice any issues on the day of, and I haven't noticed any issues today, so I think we're good. But yes, I suppose electronics are probably designed to not request or accept power in a way that they do not want. At least, I suppose it depends on how well made they are, but... But yes, that was that. Yeah, I guess, yeah, for another thing, I have been wanting to, uh, well, I don't know. I don't know how relevant it is right now. Eh, it's relevant. Yeah, I can make it relevant at the very least. But, yeah, we will talk about that once we get into the game area. Speaking of which, video games. Arc Knights. I just realized I, I forgot to put the movie back in the room. Oh, well. Uh, where was I? Arc Knight, video games. Yes, okay. So yeah, so definitely... I've been thinking about sort of how 
my streams are, having been going over previous footage for the sake of uh, editing down a VOD, like I mentioned before. Still working on that. Still working on getting uh, VODs uh, uploaded as well. Yeah, I haven't, haven't been able to make the time for that recently. But yeah, and I definitely... I feel like I want to change up my style a little bit. But yeah, I'm not planning on doing anything huge just yet. Or, you know, making any major changes. But I do want to... I don't know, maybe it's less of a style thing and more of a presentation thing. But, yeah, I don't know. I want to be a little bit more knowledgeable about the game that I am playing at this particular at this particular moment. I've, you know, at first I was fairly confident that I knew a good amount about Arknights, and while I know a reasonable amount, I'm definitely the more I play it, the more I'm learning that I really don't know quite as much as I as I would like. <laughs> and yes, I would like to be able to present a little bit more information. Yeah, even just going back to the, the start of the series and looking over that VOD again, I'm seeing a lot of places where my lack of knowledge was really shining through. And yeah, just recently I learned, uh, for instance, that uh, art Guards, I'll bring one up here. Ba -ba -ba. Doesn't matter who we choose because I'm not going to switch anyone out. Yeah, Estesia here. I think is the only art art card that I have at any at anything resembling a level that would be usable at this point, though of course we could always level one up. But yeah, so Estesia is an arts guard, or an arts fighter, which is which means that she does arts damage, as described by the trait. But yeah, for whatever reason, previously I had thought that arts fighters only did, uh, only did arts damage while their skills were active. I think I might have been confusing, confusing that effect with uh, Midnight skill which does also uh, cause his attacks to deal arts damage while it is active, as well as uh, one of Lapland skills does the same. That's it. But yeah, so as far as I can tell, arts fighters just do arts damage, as, as is described. They simply do arts damage with their attacks. <clears throat> but yeah. That, you know, wasn't anything specific that needed to be demonstrated. It's just the the most recent example I could think of. But yeah. So again, you know, I'm wanting to, to make this change because it's definitely a lot of the, like, video makers, streamers, and YouTubers and whatnot that I look up to the most are ones who are very knowledgeable about the games that they play. And I think I'd like to move in that direction a little bit more. I think for the, you know, for the purposes of this series, we're probably not going to see that. Any game that I'm playing as a first playthrough, I'll only, you know, I don't want to spoil myself on for the most part. So I'd probably limit the amount of research I do to some extent. But, you know, gameplay mechanics aren't story spoilers, so I can learn about those. And yeah, I'll be looking into how I want to, how I want to go about that and all that. Again, for first-time playthrough series, I think I'm probably not going to look into it too much. But it will it will depend. We'll see how things shake out. But yes, anyway. So last time, we left on a, a quite interesting note. A quite interesting note of, uh, of Misha wanting to help preserve the legacy of Skull Shatterer. And then Skull Shatterer's inexplicable revival from presumed death. So we'll have to see how that uh, how that shakes out as well. But before we do, I'm going to do this side stage. <laughs> because if there's anything I know about myself, and there's anything that you will come to know about me from spending time around me, it's that I love side content. I love it so much. So yes. Alright, so we've got... Two, two locations to protect here. Yeah, lots of bushes and lots of detectors. So this is, we're still definitely playing into hiding, hiding your own units and hidden enemy units. Yeah. I suppose we can't really know what we're going to want until we've, you know, begun the mission, so. Listen. 
and everyone mm -hmm. stay calm. Yes, for now, we'll just deploy a uh, online. Okay, that was a good first choice. We'll deploy an operator to protect Understood. either uh, what are these called? Protection objectives. Yes, we'll deploy an operator to protect both of them. Mm -hmm, I'm listening. Deploy a cruise to shoot. Alright, we're going to have some enemies on this side. I wonder... Just as planned. I've not used slow operators very much. I've been wanting to. But why not, you know? Yeah, this is probably a good, uh, good opportunity to do so. And I'm also going to need to start thinking about deploying more units, because, yeah, um, Bang is very quickly going to get overwhelmed here if we don't do something. Alright, we've already had an enemy go through, unfortunately, but, you know, what can you do? Yeah. There being a few bushes here makes it more, uh... It's good for, it's good for our medics, basically. Yes, they are much less likely to be attacked in a, at a time and in a way that is inconvenient for us. Yes, Chen is continuing to, to pull her weight in a major way. Yeah, it looks like we're not getting a whole lot of, a whole lot of ranged units on the right hand side. So we might not need to worry about... Go ahead, stop them now. I guess they do move into the right hand side, don't they? Don't get yourself killed, dummy! Hmm. Yeah, they do move through that side a little bit. So, yes. So... Probably... Since this, you know, this is a mission... Oh dear. This is not great. Let's just switch out the Vela for Durnar, I think. Or no, actually... I don't know if Utaga really has the damage to take these enemies out before, all on her own, before they can get past her. Utage would definitely be a pretty good choice for her self-sustain. I guess eh, there aren't a lot of enemies coming that way, now that I think about it. So yeah, it might not be as big of a deal as I'm making it out to be. Because yeah, it only looks like yeah, basically only one at a time are heading towards uh, Durnar's direction, so I probably could have used Utage. But yeah, so anyway, so since this is a mission, since this is a side mission, I probably will focus a little bit more on, uh, a little bit more on trying to get a good rating on it than I would on a gameplay mission, just because, or sorry, on a story mission. Because on the story missions, I'm more focused on the story, you know? Here I am. Yeah, definitely... I definitely feel like Here. I could have... Hmm, I just realized, yeah, Durnar... Yes, sir. Durnar's not uh, doing great. Because I, I just kind of placed her there, and I didn't really didn't really consider the fact that she would Don't eventually me. need healing. Killed, Out of my, way. my only real thought was that she... Yeah, my only real thought was that she would be tougher and able to block more. Hmm, I should do something about these casters before they become a problem for us, huh? Perfect chance. Oh, oh dear, what have we... Oh, okay, Chen. Chen went down. Unfortunate, and okay. Hmm. I also heard an enemy... or an, Yeah, I heard an enemy That's pass easy. through on one side. I'm not quite sure which. Target marked. Hang in there, I'm hmm. coming. Amia and oh, we're out of deployment limit. Um, that's not good. Alright. Perfect chance. So I Come believe Colopsis should be able to survive long enough to Yeah, okay. She's doing fine. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what enemy passed through and on what side. The operation was successful, but we still have room for improvement. Absolutely, absolutely. Ah, 
more side content. Yeah, I did kind of want to do this before the before the mission, not just because I like side content, but because I wanted to, I felt like it would be a little bit weird <laughs> to jump into what's probably going to be a fairly serious mission on both gameplay and story fronts, just from a cold open. But yes. Uh, let's see. So, given what we know, the right side is probably not going to need to be that strongly defended, and we're not going to get a lot of a lot of enemies on that side, or we're not going to be getting a lot of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? We're not going to be getting a lot of uh, ranged enemies on that side, so you don't need to utilize the bushes as much. So I think I might place Orchid roughly here. Place her roughly there instead. She did fine in her previous position. In fact, it actually might be better to have her where she was because that way she has the uh, she has the opportunity to slow more enemies yeah meteor didn't do quite as much as i was as i was hoping for i will not bring shame to black steel yeah i don't know if fang or vanilla would be better in that first position I almost feel like I almost feel like vanilla would be the better option because of her damage bonus. Everyone, follow me. Yeah, because yeah, she does have the same amount of block. She does have the same amount of block. And I think oh yeah, oh she has a dramatically higher attack actually. So yeah, placing her where there are more enemies uh, to attack might be for the best, actually. Just as planned. Of course it's a bit too late to do anything about that now, but you know, food for thought. Mm, okay, right, right, right. We need to deploy so Fang doesn't get overwhelmed. Given that we have... Everyone, follow me. We might want to deploy Telopsis early, but maybe not that early. Because where she is now, she can definitely get shot a lot. This, honestly, this would probably be fine. In terms of deployment, that can cover both of our uh, both of our uh, defenders over here. Ready for action. Fang. Okay, Fang does have the defense to hold back two dogs, and one of them is at pretty low health, so that shouldn't Don't be an issue. Yeah. The unfortunate thing is that while she is, uh, yeah, while Cruz can't really do a whole lot from where she is, whenever there's not uh, enemies who are revealed to Stop. us. Yeah, maybe if I turned her a little bit, she could have, uh, like, turned her to the left, perhaps. She could have helped uh, deal with enemies on the top side. Um, I kind of want to, I kind of want to field Amia. Yeah, she'll be able to apply a little bit more damage. And once these enemies are clear, I think I'll deploy Durnar in place of Fang. Ah, right, right, right. Okay, so... Hmm. Oh, actually, you know what? Now that I'm seeing it, she does have uh, a pretty good damage output on her, doesn't she? Zage does. So yeah, you know, we knew that to a certain extent. That's her whole job as a guard, but... I guess I, I never really internalized quite how much damage she does. Yeah, with how things are, we're looking pretty good. If I deploy any more units further this way, Lopsis won't be able to heal them. Here. Are you afraid of me? Hmm. Right. Hector? Yeah, we're not going to be able to detect a whole lot of enemies for a whole long time, but it's fine. I could always deploy Doberman for just a little bit more DPS. There's not really a good place to put her, though. Because, yeah, with Chen where she is, she wouldn't really be able to, or Doberman wouldn't be able to take advantage of her increased damage to units she's not blocking. Hmm. Here I, am. I guess that's not a huge consideration. 
Yeah, honestly, it might it might not even be a concern. We might just be able to wrap this up without even really thinking about it much more. Yes, we'll use the detector now that I've remembered that it exists. So yeah, Utage is doing okay, but not quite enough. No. All right. So we might want to think about having another, if we want to three-star this, we're probably going to want to, Drop your weapon. Hmm. yeah, we're going to need some way to block some more on that side. But yeah, there are definitely other, I mean, Don't you know, we've got more hands. corn, of course. Yeah, you can uh, also self-sustain, but it might be good to have a one of those uh, defenders who can heal themselves with a skill rather than just a unit who can uh, heal, heal on attack. Mission accomplished. All injured personnel, please stay put. Don't move. I'll be right there. All right. So we're going to try that again. All right. So yeah, so Otage doesn't really need to be there. Um... She's good, but if we're going to have a healing defender in front, if we're going to have a healing defender in front, I should be careful about uh, <laughs> switching out of uh, my specially curated operator selection, but it's fine. I've wanted to use Cement for a while. I've wanted to use Cement for a while because she's very funny. Let's talk, take a moment to talk about Cement. Ba -ba -ba. Can I... let's see, where do I go to see just her full art? There we are. Yeah. So if you'll notice, that's a 500 kilogram block of uh, concrete right there. Or, uh, yeah. Yeah, Cement is a funny character because she carries around a big, big chunk of, of concrete. Uh, and her name is Shayna Molman. Yes, she is based on a mole, as you can see. Anyway, like I said, she's very funny. But yes. I think if I were to deploy her, I'd also need another unit who can heal her. I guess we could always put Gaviel over there. But yeah, the reason I don't want to have just Cement there is because she is a duelist defender. Which is to say, she blocks one unit. But yes. Hmm... There are plenty of options that I could go for in terms of healing defenders. And again, there's plenty of options I could go for in terms of just being able to heal her. But yeah, it might not be something I need to concern myself with too much. Hmm. Yeah, I think probably I'd just place a... probably just place a medic. That would probably be for the best, honestly. But yeah, so anyway, back to back to Cement. But yeah, in order for Cement to be uh, powerful, we do need to make her stronger, though. But yes, let us increase, let us reinforce the cement to make concrete. Uh, yeah. If the mines just provided workers with recorders, it would save us so much hassle. Thank you for your input. I could promote her, but I don't feel that we necessarily need to at this point. Work, work! Hop to it now! And yeah, like I said, we're probably going to want another unit beside her to be able to, uh, be able to block a little bit more. Because yeah, the issue was there was not damage or anything like that. The issue was just I don't have enough block. So, actually with that in mind, I probably should use a healing defender. Because I need a blocker and a healer beside, uh, beside Cement. Hmm. I don't want to, I don't want to commit to removing Doberman, but I think that might be for the best, honestly. I guess we didn't use Meteorite, or Meteor, in that previous mission, either. And again, I guess we don't need to have a healing defender, we just need to have a unit who can block, well, no, because I want to be able to heal... <laughs> I keep forgetting what I'm here for. I want to be able to heal, uh, Miss Molman. Uh, so yeah, Gummy's fine. Gummy, ready to go. 
Gummy is in fact ready to go. Alright, so, let's apply what we've learned. Again, it's not really that important. You know, we can probably solve this without thinking too much about it. But, like I said, I want to think a little bit more about what I'm doing when I'm playing this game. I want to get more into planning and whatnot. But yeah, so again, if I place crews more like this, I should be able to deal damage to more units. Or, yeah, be, still be able to deal damage to units up here. But, again, I don't feel that that's necessarily a... Uh, I don't feel that that's a optimization that we really need to make at this point. Yeah, Thalopsis was fine here before, so I think we're going to keep Cruise here. This was definitely a situation where I probably shouldn't have uh, delayed quite so much, because now we've got a little bit more on our hands than I was hoping for. Oh yeah, only one enemy is heading towards Fang, so we're okay. Your words are my you shall not pass. Hmm. So again, yeah, we are going to want Take them out some fast. more offensive power in this quadrant sooner rather than later. Yes, Fang can do some good damage. Yeah. And now blocks us for the healing. Orchid is deployed Just next. And then yes, so we should be able to switch over Fang pretty soon here, though I guess she is getting a little bit low on HP. The consequences of that whole, you know, not having that, uh, Don't force my hand. the consequences of not having quite as much damage as our, uh, as her contemporary. Hang in there, I'm coming. Yes, this should still be perfectly workable, I think. Don't force my hand. Because yes, Fang has plenty of defensive capabilities. Alright, time for Cement. I've never actually seen her in action before, now that I think about it. Oh, okay, we messed up. Alright, something went wrong while I wasn't looking. Unfortunate. Whoops. Oh, right, right, right. We should have switched out to, to Durnar sooner. Well, it's fine. Yeah, again, we identified what went wrong, so I don't feel that much of a need to correct it. Because, yeah, again, the point of this isn't so much that I specifically want a 3-star rating, as much as it is that I just want to be able to, you know... I want to have the knowledge that I would need to get a 3-star rating. And part of that is... Remembering to use the detectors, like, at all. Don't get yourself killed, dummy. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, right. Now that Gaviol has served her purpose, we can undeploy her. And now that we've messed up our deployment order a little bit, so I don't have a... Uh... Yeah, it's not great. So, yeah, I don't have a... Uh... If I were to place Amiya there, she would be taking damage, which is not really what I want, but I think, honestly, we should have plenty of healing to manage. If I deployed Amiya sooner, I also probably could have prevented uh, the enemy from getting past Vanilla. But again, we don't need to optimize quite that much. And yeah, I think we can probably just speed through to the end of this. Oh yeah, I remember I still need to get, uh, I still need to get around to that whole, uh, I was planning to, to show off my, uh, first clear of Rathalos, or rather my successful clears of Rathalos from the event, and I should do that one of these days. Okay, no, Colopsis. If I had done it a little bit sooner, I maybe could have saved Anya there, but unfortunately I did not, uh, did not notice her health going down quite as fast as I could have. Yeah. All right, all right, not bad. So yeah, Cement's health went down a little bit lower than I was hoping for on that last part, but it's fine. A decent result. I do kind of want that uh, Originite Prime, but 
again, I can do this off stream. We only have so much time here. Ooh, we've got a lot of area to protect this time around. Interesting. Yeah, I suppose I should probably make note of where the bushes and whatnot are. Okay, so there's not a very there's not very many of them. Which is a little bit of a struggle for us. Hmm. Honestly, I think, yeah, since we're somewhat limited on time, I think we might go and start this sooner rather than later. Yeah, also, you'll get a uh, another copy of Amia when we complete this. I didn't mention that before, but uh, yeah, you don't get you don't get additional Amias from uh, the from the uh, head hunting or anything like that. The only way to get additional Amias is from the story. Yes, Amia, leader of Rhodes Island, will fight alongside you. Keep fighting, Doctor. Now, let us get into things. I suppose we've delayed long enough. More than long enough, really. Ah, they're still fighting back! Skull Shatterer! As long as we can push them back, victory will be ours! Yes. Right now, we have no choice but to fight. These guys, pretty tough. Ugh, that shield of yours. She, she's the one from the LGD. It's not too late to put down your weapons and surrender. Unless you want to die in vain right here. You'd expect us to believe you? Liar. Ursus, they've said the same thing before, but they in executed those infected one by one. I hid beneath the bodies of the slain, holding my breath in order to survive. There are no depths to which your kind won't stoop in order to exterminate us. Aren't you just trying to round us up so you can kill us faster? Very well. You've made your choice, then. You're not getting through to them, big fella. They won't listen to reason. They can't even distinguish between good and even... Yeah, good and even... Yeah, good and even Lungman and Ursus. In that place? No. In many places. Only hatred exists between those who are infected and those who are not. Seems that because of all of all of that, all communication is broken down. Even though, there's a, even though there's another path in front of our eyes. Another path? What could we possibly do? And what could you accomplish? <clears throat> Don't waste any more time listening to their lies. Skull Shatterer, let's get rid of them together. Explosions? Planning to surround us from multiple directions. Our flank will collapse if we can't seize the initiative. Prepare to counterattack. Skull Shatterer, I'll cover you. Just kill them and the battle will be over. Skull Shatterer. I have to go back with all of you. I have to. We don't have much time left. Oshiguma, I'm ready. Act carefully. Don't show the enemy any signs of weakness. I won't give them an opening. Watch out. The enemy is charging forward. Amia, stay away from the enemy. Th that's... I... Doctor. Doctor, what should I do? You know what you have to do, Amia. But... I don't want to. I'm sorry, Doctor. I... Amia? Why? You. Why did you become like this? Amia, I guess this was our fate all along. Amia, what are you doing? Hurry! I... Mm -hmm. Madam Chen, I... That's enough. It's time put an end to this. Madam Chen? There is one thing I must tell you. From now on, you better all treat infected the same way as your enemies. All right, hold on. Did I? Whoops. <laughs> all right, misread that. Let's try that again. <clears throat> Madam Chen, there's one thing I must tell you. 
From now on, you'd better treat all infected the same way as your enemies. Life is unfair. If you want to hate someone, then hate me. LGD, attack! Hmm. Oh, what's even harder? Defensive rune increases defense of operator placed on it. I probably should have checked what the map was going to look like before we started, but it's fine. Leave it to us. Okay, Skull Shatterer is here, so maybe I shouldn't have deployed uh, units directly in uh, their way right away. <laughs> um, but it's okay. This is... We'll make this work. Which side do we need to defend the most immediately? Okay. Because, yeah, Skull Shatterer is not like Crown Slayer because they will not simply, you know, will not um, pass through our units. So that means that whoever we place in Skull Shatterer's path uh, is going to stay there until one of them is no more. So, that's a bit unfortunate for us, but uh, what can you do? Let's see the range on Skull Shatterer. Probably enough to shoot a sniper, but uh, maybe not, actually. Cruz is in considerable danger right now, <laughs> unfortunately, but, um, you know. All right. Everyone, so, follow me. Hmm, right, we need a defender up here. Please do come. <laughs> Please do. All right, so now Cruz is in danger. Telopsis. I don't know how great of an option this is, but she's physically present at least, and that's something. Um, yes, Chen can do a little bit of blocking from her vantage point. She can't uh, receive any healing from her vantage point, which would make this a little bit unfortunate. Cement has pretty good defense. A little bit higher than uh, Durnar. Yeah, one thing that could be... I don't like this. <laughs> Yeah, since we don't necessarily want to attract too much attention. Alright. We'll see how... All the... Yeah, that's, a, that's damage. Hmm. But, yeah, not quite enough sustain. Probably in large part just due to the fact that vanilla is taking a lot of damage here. Chen's in a really bad situation. <laughs> ah. Alright, so... No, not quite fast enough. Um... Oh dear. Oh, right, 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 right. I forgot that Skull Shatterer can reduce defense. Hmm. Is everyone okay? Let's get out of here. Well, I guess if I really need to, I can go to the scheduled time. That only add about 30 minutes to the stream. But, now that we know what's up, let's start practicing. So yeah, so I think it would be in our best interest to start deploying a sniper sooner, so that a uh, Skull Shatterer can start taking damage sooner. Cement is okay. Probably, what's the expected level? Eh, I mean, it's higher than what we have, but it's not that much higher. I mean, I guess it's a fair amount higher. We might want another healing defender, or we might want more medics. Either way, we're definitely going to want more healing, I think. Chen was okay. Quartz might do the job better. Though, if we're going to use Quartz, we need to be very careful that she's not... Well, I was going to say, we need to be very careful that she's not going to take damage from Skull Shatterer. But Skull, if Skull Shatterer reduces defense, and Quartz already doesn't have defense, well then, the defense loss is negligible. Granted, I, I, don't, think, I don't think negative defense is a thing. At the very least, even if it is a thing, it shouldn't matter, per se. Because, yeah, well... Yeah, I don't know how it would be calculated if it was negative, because defense in this game is just essentially subtracted from the amount of damage, the amount of physical damage, specifically, that an attack does. 
So yeah, so reducing defense below zero would either add more damage <clears throat> or it would do nothing, depending on how the formula is calculated. And again, I don't know that I don't know that Skull Shatterer's defense drop could potentially reduce an operator's defense below zero. Yeah, so more snipers are in order, I think. More snipers earlier. Cement probably wasn't really suited for that particular position. Um, more healing. And yeah, we'll continue to work out the strategy as we the continue to play this. Be careful, everyone. All right. In position. Do we want to place crews immediately? Mm -hmm. I'm I suppose probably not hesitating is pretty valuable. There you are. It might have been a little bit better to get more HP a little bit sooner, perhaps, but I feel pretty okay with this choice that I've made. Elopsis, I think we'll place. Having skills active sooner will probably be of great value to us. Yes, we'll face Meteor the other way around. Hmm. I have placed my snipers in such a position that they can't uh, receive any healing unless I were to place unless I were to place another medic there and that would make for another target, which I don't necessarily want. Who needs healing? Come over. Yeah, especially, yeah, I don't think a single target medic is a good choice here now that I think about it. Um, yeah, this is not good. <laughs> Gaviol, I don't know that she has the healing output to really survive this, necessarily. She's doing okay so far. Hmm. Alright, well, she does have a decent healing output, it seems, well, decent, not maybe not amazing. Alright, Miss Molman is not going to <laughs> last for very long here, unfortunately. I'm going to want some support, but where and in what way? I think... No, we don't have... Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we need to get... Uh, I was going to say, we need to get Fang out of here immediately. Yeah, I did. I hesitated too long because I wasn't sure if I had enough DP. But yeah, if I had done that a little bit smarter... Um, well, we need to deal with this drone. I, Amya won't necessarily target it, but maybe she will. There we go. Okay, that, okay that's an instant failure. Alright. I'm still not strong enough. Unfortunate that. <clears throat> so, how can we improve? I suppose one thing we might want to look into is what's uh what's Skull Shatterer's stats like? Uh def okay, yeah. Good. Better resistance, in theory. Yeah, significantly reducing the defense of the target and surrounding allies for a short period of time. Gain significantly increased attack when HP is under 50%. Hmm. I don't like that. Um, at least we've seen all the enemies, so we know what to uh, expect. Hmm. But yeah, more healing is in order if we want to do this with... Uh, without having to level anyone up some more. Though, I suppose we are getting to a point where we're probably going to want to start leveling again. Sooner rather than later, I suppose, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's, I think it's about time. Yeah, this is a sufficiently dramatic moment for a sufficiently dramatic power-up. So, Chen, we need your support now more than ever. A promotion? I've been through these things before. Confident, aren't we? Alright, so Chen is slightly more expensive now, which could mess things up for us, maybe. <laughs> Considering that we my strategy there 
kind of wanted me to put down Chen and then immediately put down Durnar, but, uh, you know. So yeah, so Sheath Strike into Unsheath. Yeah, 330% of attack is physical damage, and 330% of attack is arts damage to at most four enemies in front of this unit. So yeah, so this is a sort of passive ability. This would be a, yeah, melee, or melee? Well, yes, but a manual, rather. A manual just burst of damage for if we need it, which could be useful. Yeah, I'm also realizing I haven't really upgraded a lot of skills on a lot of units. I suppose actually we should level up Chen too, not just promote her. I think we'll go for Elite 115 for now. It's all in the service of more efficient operations. Indeed. I'm glad we're on the same page. Yeah, I suppose we do have a few units who are above that, but, you know, <laughs> we'll take what we can get. And yeah, Amia. Amia also needs to be promoted. Long time coming, that. But yes. So, Elite 1. I'm so excited to fight by your side again, Doctor. And I'm excited to have you by our side. Yeah, Amia's art changed at Elite Elite One, which I wasn't expecting. Yes, Corecaster. Did we we got a new talent on Amia, I think, or something. Hmm. I thought we did. Maybe we didn't. We got a new skill at least, Spirit Burst. So fire six times with the with 37% attack when attacking. When attacking and attacks random targets within attack range. So that's... I guess that would be... Okay. Yeah, automatically activated, stun 10 seconds after the skill duration. So this is sort of a charged... Every now and then she'll unleash a whole lot of damage for a while. I think... I think that's a... Or no, is that... Is that a 25 second cooldown or is that a 25 second duration? I think that's duration. I think that stat would be duration. Hmm. So yeah, so a big burst of arts damage. Yeah, six times when when attacking and attacks random targets. So yeah, so that's six additional small attacks when she uses a normal attack. Okay, okay. Ah, also I need to level up Amiya too. This is the first time we've done this in this series, I think. Thank you, Doctor. Feels I've like learned just... so much from you. Oh, sorry, didn't mean to speak over you. Yeah, it feels like just yesterday, Amia was like the strongest unit we had on our team. And now she's... I mean, she's been we the, one of the weaker ones for a while now, but... Yeah, improving skills would also be good if we don't want to just out-muscle them. Let's see. Durnar is already promoted. Yeah, I think her skill is fine. Being able to attack multiple enemies is very good. Yeah. Actually, now that I look at it, I think I might have been... Yeah, because her trait is normal attacks heal arch damage while the skill is active. That might be what I was confusing arch fighters with. I might have been confusing them with arch protectors. Makes sense. They have a similar name. <clears throat> so, yeah. Again, we definitely want more healing. We definitely want more healing. And if we're going to have more higher level units, I think we want more deployment points. Bang's already got a good skill level. Vanilla's already got a decent skill level, maybe not an amazing one. But yes, Gaviel, I think, would do well to be promoted. But yes. Buffs all allies within attack range immediately, restoring HP by 16% of Gaviel's attack. 40% of Gaviel's attack when the HP is lower than 50% per second, lasting 7 seconds. Right, right, right. So yeah, so I know Gaviel, her sort of gimmick as a medic is that she applies a little bit of healing over time. Everyone is so scared of me treating them. You're the only one who accepts me for what I am. Thanks for that. Of course, we love you, Gaviel. Yes, everybody loves Gaviel. 
I thought we were going to have combat class. Don't worry, there's going to be plenty of combat in your future. So yes. So, Vitality Restoration versus Vitality Restoration Wide Range. Yeah, Vitality Restoration Wide Range takes a lot longer. A lot longer, and it's a manual skill. But that might be good for what we're about to face. We're not necessarily going to need all of the healing all of the time. Leave the rear to me. Go show them what you're made of. Well, we're definitely going to want a lot of the healing uh, some of the time. So yes, we've upped some of our offensive options. Hmm. I don't know how useful she's going to be. I really do want to keep using cement. I do want to keep using cement because I like her. I don't know. We'll think about it some more. We'll think about it some more. I'm not going to. I'm not going to promote her just yet. I don't think. Of course, I am running low on time, but it is what it is. Everyone, prepare for battle. Leave it to enemy spotted. Prepare to fight. So yes, more damage sooner is probably valuable, since we want Skull Shatterer deceased mm -hmm, again. I'm listening. Yeah, I think I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of uh, a little bit of DP, Everyone, or at least get me. DP a little bit slower on account of that. The Lopsis might be better served being here. here I am. So in that case, we'll probably place Gabiel. We want to place her. You know, what? that's not even a question, really. <laughs> That's not in question. I want healing. Um, yeah, I want the healer to be... Whoops, no, no, no. Healer to be well defended. Who needs healing? Come and pay. part of that is getting the healer deployed sooner rather than later. Your words are my pay. So, yes. Of course, now... Everyone, well, no, me. it's fine. Um, Elopsis. I think what we're going to do... Is we're going to deploy Telopsis like there, so we can get a little bit more coverage on our medics in general. Nope, oh, no, no, no. Not going to place Meteor there. We're going to place Meteor here. There we are. Oh, dear. And here comes the trouble, but we will survive. So yes. Before long, I want to place Miss Molman. All right. Things are going okay. Yeah, with Mo with sh uh with uh Arden. She has a name. I'll remember it one of these days. Cement. There we go. With Cement, where she is. Hmm. Yeah, she will survive. Basically, <laughs> she will survive. Um, I think I want to switch you out for Durnar, since we were getting a few more enemies on the top. Hmm, it might actually be... Now that I think about it, we don't necessarily need to place a, a uh, unit exactly on the... Uh, yeah, we don't need to place a unit exactly on the, like, final tile there. Of course, with... Hmm. Alright, we might have lost. Moving out. Oh dear. Oh dear! Durnar got overwhelmed there. I wasn't expecting that. But yeah, I should have used Gabiel's skill. I'm not giving up yet. It might be good to have another multi-target medic. Yeah, it might be good to have another multi-target medic. That might be the... The the thing to go for. Another slow operator could be nice. Or a slow operator, even. Considering that we didn't have one before. But yeah, taking some pressure off of Cruz was helpful with the addition of Cement. So Cement was... She was uh, pulling her weight. I can't fault her that. But yeah, she didn't quite hold up, but then again, neither did anyone else. 
Yeah, so Durnar crumpled, unfortunately. Okay. Hmm. If I deployed Gummy a little bit sooner, I probably could have gotten enough healing on Cement for Cement to survive a little bit longer. And that could have made a big difference. I don't know how close we were to the deployment limit there. We maybe could have gotten more units on the field. Yeah, it might be good to have another Vanguard just so we can deploy, we can get more deployment points faster. But I'm going to try the strategy we had again, just a little bit more refined. Oh, what's even harder? Leave it to us. Please make sure you follow every detail on the plan. All right, everyone. Now spread out. All right. So, zero hesitation on deployments so that we can maximize DPS as soon as possible. All right, Danila. And yeah, once again, we will place Telopsis where she was because I think that's probably more or less the optimal position for her based on what we have and know. Um, charging. Yeah. Having spoken of arts fighters before, it might be in our best interest to deploy one. Honestly, because we're getting some enemies that have Your some higher defense. Here I am. This halberd isn't just for show. So yes, I think. I guess Gaviol. Gaviol's performance isn't really dependent on where she's over. positioned, given uh, our strategy here. I think... Hmm. Gummy... Hit. Gummy has more defense. Alright, let's take a moment to pause and think this over. So yes, so if we place Cement back on the same position where she was in... I guess the, the defense rune will probably make up for the reduced inherent defense. But yeah, if we place Cement there, then we're going to be having... I just realized, place Amya up top rather than placing her on the bottom where she uh, would be desperately not protected. Um, but anyway, so... You know, her, yeah, okay. I want Gummy out on the field sooner rather than later so that I can heal Cement. Now that I've mentioned her name, I can't help but want to call her Shayna or Molman or Shayna Molman. Anyway. <laughs> Gotta be professional here. Use their code names. Sip. But yes. So. If we place Shayna on the tile where we placed her before, that should be okay. The question, though, is... Do I want to place Gummy before or after Cement? Because if I place her after Cement, she'll start absorbing damage, and that damage will splash onto... I think it splashes in a uh, all the adjacent tiles, including the diagonal ones. So yes, yeah, so that would put more pressure on everyone up here, versus if I just... Uh, if I deploy her... Yeah, if I were to deploy uh, Gummy and then Cement. Ready to fight. Thrust. Initiation. Loading complete. So yes, this is okay. We're doing okay. This is the shot. And we will survive. I am confident. Remember, max deviation. All right, for damage. Damage and DP. Thrust. Critical hit. But yes. For right now. Hmm. Actually, placing Amia forward a little bit might be. I would put her out less. I would endanger her less. But yes, that would put her in less danger, or at least less immediate danger. But yes, we don't have. Yeah, true to true to her profession as a duelist, she is doing pretty good here. Oh. All right. So I feel like we want Durnar. Hmm. We maybe could have retreated. Bang! Oh dear. 
Hmm. Alright, this is bad. Alright, we wanted more damage on this side. Do we... Okay, right, 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 right. We do have... We can support that with Palopsis. Support her, she has a name. Um... Hmm. So yeah, so if we placed a little bit more damage here... That could have been good. Chen on her own isn't going to be able to do enough blocking, I don't think. Of course, probably the fact that I kind of got really wrapped up in everything that was going on didn't help. This is the shot. Darna is really, uh, really surviving it, though. Alright, well, we're not going to survive the rest of this, but, you know, that was pretty good, to be honest. Take it easy, Doctor. It's not your fault. Don't worry, this is just a simulation. Alright, so, that was pretty good. Given that Cement is definitely useful in this position, I am tempted to promote her at this point. But, we are definitely running into the issue of not having enough deployment points, or at least not as many as I would like. Hmm. How much can we improve her deployment point potential? Yeah, improving... Okay, right. So, current... That would... What does it do? Oh, it increases her attack, which is not really what we want. Given given that the issue isn't really that enemies aren't getting killed, it's that they aren't... or that we aren't getting the deployment points that we want. Whoops. Yeah, given the issue that, that is at hand here, it might be best to switch out Vanilla for another Vanguard, one who can deploy... Deploy? Who can generate deployment points faster. But yes, someone who... Someone who does so automatically would also be very nice, because I am a little bit forgetful. <laughs> as I'm sure you've noticed. So, having already uh, recruited one member, one uh, person from Ursus to our little team here. Don't care if I'm leading or following. Another Whatever. one, Zima. So yes, so Zima also has a similar ability to Fangs, except it's better, basically. But yeah. Um, oh, what was her name? Scavenger. Scavenger's stronger than Zima and has a, I think, could generate more deep or DP per skill usage. <clears throat> but again, I don't want to have to do so manually because I'm already forgetting a lot of manual activations. Meteor and Cruz are doing okay. Maybe we could be doing better with, with them. Hmm. Yeah, they've only got the one skill each currently. It might it might be valuable to switch one of them out. I'm trying to think, what level I keep pressing the wrong hotkey. I'm trying to remember what other levels of snipers do I have? <coughs> hmm. An AoE sniper could be useful. Because yeah, one of the issues is that we're dealing with a lot of enemies at a time. Autophons. Autophons we also love, but she might be a little bit more than we need. But yeah, she's very single target damage. And I'd really need to be careful with how I place her. And yeah, part of the issue is that we just need to get more enemies off the field faster. So with that in mind... With that in mind, honestly, yeah. You know what? Let's bring in squad combat. I'm very familiar with that. Bring in a specialist. We've already got Exusiai on our team, so why not have Exusiai on our team? You know. Just, I just remembered we also have Texas, and Texas is a vanguard. I think. I might be totally off base on that, but let's check. Texas, Texas. Yeah, she is. Okay. That'd be more thematically appropriate, and we all know how much I love thematic appropriateness around here. Honestly, Texas could be fun. Plus, I know that Texas has some pretty cool skills, so I kind of want to 
Honestly, I kind of want to see what she's like, especially promoted. Oh, I keep... Uh, it is what it is. This does add a little bit of uh, a little bit of a dramatic glow to things, but thanks. Yeah, so Texas is 10, 10 DP to deploy. She'd go up to 12. Currently. Ba -ba -ba. Right, Zima. Zima is nine. So yeah, we would have to wait a little bit longer. But Zima does get us 12 every 41-ish seconds. Actually, I guess I don't know how long it takes to get skill points. Yes, yeah, so first is Texas. I need to place these hotkeys further away from each other. Or just learn which one does watch. Um, Texas. Texas gets 12, but that's, I think... Hold on, let me look at Zima. Zima's, Zima's is leveled up. Zima's is leveled up, so presumably Texas gives us more on a per usage basis, which makes a fair amount of sense. Um, but yeah, 44 points. For, yeah, starts with 10 requires 44 versus starts with 12 requires 41. That might go down as we improve the skill. Yeah, it will. Looking at Texas again. So yeah, so that's pretty good. I think, it, actually, now that I think about it, I think it's basically functionally identical. But again, I did kind of want to promote Texas. Yeah, she will get... Sword rain. Oh, that. Okay, no, that does give, gives DP, does damage. That could be useful. It is a manual skill, which is what I explicitly wanted to avoid. But <laughs> on the other hand, I do like. Uh, I do want to see Texas and her sword rain ability. Ah, hello there, Shadow Nubex. Good to see you. But yes. So I think, I think we'll go ahead and remote Texas. To a certain extent, I just kind of want to see some cool units. Alright. So, level her up as well a little bit. Thanks. And, yeah, so that's, okay, it does require, it requires a similar amount of, uh, yeah, just came back to Arknights. Do you know if the new healer is any good? Um, I think... If you're referring to the uh, the one who came out with the new event, I have not uh, used her myself. I don't have her. But yeah. Um, so yeah. So I can't say personally, I'm afraid. <clears throat> Sit. But yes. Yeah. So unfortunately, I, I cannot answer that particular question. But yeah. So I think we'll go with Sword Rain. Again, I did kind of want to avoid... I did kind of want to avoid having a manual skill that I would have to manage. But getting more damage will probably also be useful. Yeah, tactical delivery. Gain one extra DP when Texas is in the squad. I don't know what that means precisely. <laughs> is that one extra DP every time I get DP? Or is that one extra DP every time I use my skill, perhaps? Hmm. Well, I suppose we'll find out. What do you need? So yeah, so now we've got Texas and Exusiae in the squad. Very thematically appropriate. Direct All right. memory access for application map. So yes. An enemy coordinates we will deploy Fang first. Please stand by. Deploy crews next. I kind of delayed there a little bit, but it's fine. Yeah, being able to clear out a few more enemies would be valuable. Alright, alright. So yeah, so beyond that, our strategy should be more or less the same, I think. Yeah, so we'll place Philopsis here. There you are! 
do I want to place? Got it. You can't stop me. Nice. So yeah. Do I want to place Exusii right away? I feel like I might not Everyone, want to. to uh, well. Hmm. 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 Trying to think. So deploying Exusii would give us more DPS. Texas might want that to take a little bit of pressure off of her. But we could also deploy... Well, I was going to say we could deploy Amiya up there. Because <clears throat> we're going to plan... We're planning on having Amiya up there anyway. But Amiya costs even more. So. My main consideration is wanting to have enough deployment points to deploy Durnar and Cement in a timely fashion. And, uh... And, uh... Gummy, of course. But yes, it might be... Yeah, it might be best to deploy Gummy. And then we'll sort of see. Again, we do have the extra damage potential from uh, Texas. Well, alright, so maybe we should have deployed uh, Exusii, actually. Alright, so. We did mess up the order a little bit, but we're getting closer to a strategy that is uh, good. We're not quite there yet, but we're getting there. Alright, we're doing okay. Hmm. Okay, right. So this does have a duration on it. And it stuns, which I had uh, forgotten about. I saw that in the menu there, but I uh, didn't think about it. It might honestly be better in a perfect world to have Exusia in the same like position that she's in, or in the same facing that she's in, but on the lower half side so that she can continue to deal damage, or she can start to deal damage to uh, Skull Shatterer earlier. Yeah, this is not, uh, not the ideal use of that skill, I don't think, unfortunately. Look this. Well, I was going to say, would this stun <coughs> Skull Shatterer? Probably, but Skull Shatterer is not in range. So, in theory, it would stun Skull Shatterer. Oh, and especially... Ooh, Skull Shatterer is taking a lot of damage now, actually. And yeah, Skull Shatterer was definitely getting stunned. Yeah, Skull Shatterer was definitely getting stunned. Moving out. Hmm. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yeah, so stuns are... Uh, well... Unfortunate. Sorry. Yeah, that was not a great place to place Skull or Durnar. Yeah, I saw there that Skull Shatterer... Yeah, the, the damage bonus that Skull Shatterer gets when her skill goes off uh, is sizable. It is very sizable. So... That's not great. I wonder if that... I wonder if maybe her melee attacks just, like, do more All damage right, than her Let's keep it cool. ranged attacks. Susie, cover me. Oh, dear. <laughs> Alright, I messed up my deployment order, but that's okay. In position. We're going to be a little bit later to some of our timings, but that maybe won't be the worst thing in the world. There you are. Yes. Don't want to delay any further, though. Pulling Texas on the lower level might be good, considering what we now know. And honestly, placing our vanguards further forward might be good. Well, no, because then... Yeah, then they'd be more exposed to uh, potential Skull Shatterer damage, which I don't want. Let me create a diversion. So yes. So Everyone, Gummy Actually deploying Gummy earlier will probably save yeah, us on the yeah. need to deploy Gaviel for a little while. So we can focus on getting cement on the field sooner. Program activating art unit. Take aim. 
basically yes. Given what we know, how do we want to do this? Everyone, follow me. Hmm. All right. So, damage. She does very good damage. Yeah, I feel like I could have waited a little bit longer on Sword Rain. And I could also... I kind of don't like this, but... Having a little bit more healing could be what we're looking for, actually. Yes, so now Skull Shatterer's damage is about to go up significantly. But yes, Durnar is okay here, I think. Alright. Gaviel, I don't think healed the target that I wanted her to, is the problem there. What's the range on that, right? It's very, uh... Very much not optimal for what we're seeing here. Oh, okay. So. Take them out fast. We need Skull Shatterer dealt with very fast when she gets angry. Follow me. It does seem like she does a little bit less damage. It does seem like she does a little bit less damage Darn once it. she's uh, in her, her with her ranged weapons versus her, phys her melee weapon. Which I've wasn't intuitive to me, but now that I think about it, it makes sense from a gameplay perspective. It prevents you from just, like, doing sort of what we did and just parking a unit in front of her, basically. So, yes. So, one thing that I think could be good is, since these two tiles directly, like, right here, since we don't expect Skull Shatterer to go there, it might be good to place additional melee damage dealers there. Yeah, Xuxiai was doing okay. Yeah, I don't think anyone really failed in their role or anything like that. We were doing pretty good. Yeah, the only issue is that at a certain point, Skull Shatterer just uh, started wrecking everything. But yes. I do have another sort of emergency option that I can think of that would be potentially good for dealing with a very high damage threat like Skull Shatterer, but I, I'm not that confident in it as an option. If we need to, we could always improve our units a little bit further. But I'm more focused on refining my tactics at this Let's point, go. I think. All right, all right, all right. I won't sleep on the job. So yes. So once again, the deployment order we were using seems to be fine. Here I think. I, am. I don't believe having Cross a ones. unit in the like Thrust. in these two tiles that I mentioned. I don't think that should significantly impact Follow our. Uh, I don't think that should, like, block enemies and have people be taking damage that I don't want them to take, necessarily. It might. It might. I don't know for sure that it won't, but, uh, here's hoping, you know? Charging. Everyone, follow me. So, yes. Very tense moment here. here I am. Gummy. <laughs> I don't know. I liked Gummy where she was. I liked the additional block. But, given what we know, it might not be worth it. I want more deployment points. I don't want to delay on that. Is it my turn? Any Everyone, follow me. All right. All right. We've got our big threat coming into view. So, I want the damage now. Oh boy. So yes, Amia. I think we need more DPS over here, like immediately. Everyone, follow me. 
Yeah, given that we know that Skull Shatter is vulnerable to stuns, given that we know that she is vulnerable to stuns, and given the amount of damage that she deals, it might be good to have stuns like now. Chen! Oh yeah, we're really not taking as much damage from the ranged attacks as I thought we would. So yeah, it might actually be the play to just sort of keep Skull Shatterer... Oh! Oh, oh, oh! That was more range on Sword Rain than I was anticipating. Okay. So I think we've had a tactical breakthrough. We've also just had one of our units go down, which is less than ideal, but um, manageable. I should have deployed a medic sooner because now we're going to have a lot of units taking a lot of damage that I don't want them to take. Um, all right, I think we might need to place Durinar here just so that we have a buffer. Uh, ooh. But yes, we definitely suffered significantly, but I think we have come up with a we have come to a breakthrough here. Because yeah, seeing tactical retreat, don't break formation. Yeah, <laughs> hard. I'm running through this in my mind. So, with what we know now, we can probably predict that the well. Okay, I want to keep cement on that melee tile because that will give her a lot of defense. Or the melee def tile, defense tile. That will give her a lot of defense. Having access to stuns on Skull Shatterer is very valuable. It's very valuable. Yeah, because she is vulnerable to them. Placing <clears throat> Texas on the lower half then would probably be useful too, because that would improve our ability to stun Skull Shatterer. We can at least start doing so sooner. Placing a medic at all, but you know, sooner in general. Um, on the, yeah, to support our units would be valuable. Yeah, support the other ones in the uh, section that I wasn't supporting earlier. But yes, um, if I place Gaviol here to the left of this bottom right defense tile, she won't be getting the defense bonus, but she would be able to heal a lot wider of an area of units. And if we can manage our aggro, then the fact that Gaviel would be taking damage shouldn't be a big deal. But yes. The... Yes. Okay. So yeah, so I think the strategy that we had was pretty sound. Yeah, once Skull Shatter is in their second phase, we definitely don't want to be receiving melee attacks from Skull Shatterer. Because, but yeah, seeing Chen, seeing Chen take that one hit and like lose less than half of her health when melee attacks were doing like much more than half of our uh, defender's health was very encouraging. Because yeah, Chen has 259 defense compared to Durnar, uh, who has 344. And yeah, again, Chen took less than half of her health in damage there. Durnar in melee has taken like more than half of her health and damage and just folded like a wet napkin. So. So, so, so. I think that was pretty good. I think that was pretty good. Of course, the problem is I'm going to have to remember all of this next time because we're definitely out of time now. I'm sure I'll manage. But yeah, that was very successful, I think. But yes, we learned a lot and we, uh faced a solid challenge, and that's always something that I enjoy. So, it's about time that we wrapped up. So as per usual, if anyone has any raid suggestions, I would be delighted to hear them. If not, I can always find a target myself. And while uh, that is uh, being thought of, it is time for me to uh, go over the business. So yes, so today's stream is over. Went a little bit longer than I was expecting, but that's fine. But yes, tomorrow is nothing. <laughs> I'm not streaming tomorrow. Um, yes, next week, I meant to say, 
we should be seeing some more Ark Knights on Monday and on uh, on Monday and on one of these days, Saturday. There we go. <laughs> yes, Monday and Saturday, we should be seeing some more Ark Knights, and we should be seeing some more Coffee Talk with Chevy Sheps on Wednesday. So yes. So, the Monday stream is at 12.30 p.m. Central Time. We'll see if it actually ends up on that time, because uh, things can be a little bit weird, you know? But yes, um, where was I? But yes. <laughs> Monday, 12.30 p.m., Arc Nights. Wednesday, 8.30 p.m., uh, Coffee Talk. I might try to get that earlier. Um, bleh, bleh. Saturday. 2.30 p.m. Arc night. So, that should be what we need. That should be what we... That should be good. Okay. Yeah. I'm not seeing any raid suggestions, so I think tonight we're going to go and we will... Today, even. It's not nighttime yet. But yes. To, to, at some point, at a point in time, we're going to raid uh, Lane Corvin, whom we haven't seen for a little while. Looks like they're playing Paladins. Some other folks that I know. Lane Corbin. All right. So, the customary raid message is, as always, we have arrived. I can spell that. There we go. So, thank you all for being here tonight. I hope that you have had a fine night. I hope that you will continue to have a fine night every night. And I hope that you'll be well until the next time I see you. Thank you all very much, and farewell. Let us get this raid underway.